Yo, so this Arrowverse writer, you guys know the CW, the Arrowverse, like the Flash show, Supergirl, uh, Green Arrow, uh, Legends of Tomorrow, Black Lightning, some other stuff. You know, those terrible trash, garbage, awful DC products. So the writer or co-creator of the Arrowverse is upset and disgruntled because he feels like now that the Arrowverse is over with, he's not getting other jobs and gigs and he feels like his time has not been appreciated. He feels like everything that he did for the Arrowverse, giving teens and prepubescent teenagers all these amazing hours of content of mediocrity, trash, garbage superheroes, the weakest versions of the heroes that we love, the very smallest, least common denominator versions of the superheroes that we have been loving since children, he feels like he should get more acknowledgement from it. Oh, for sure, I got something for you, my guy. Gracias por ver la esquina de Jody. Thank you for watching Jody's Corner. Welcome to Jody's Corner, this weirdo right here. Look at this guy, upset with his $2 headphones around his neck. God dang, I remember them headphones from the 1990s. Are those AWA headphones? Man, that's that shit that you find in the $5 bin at Walmart. What is you doing? Those is $2 Dollar Tree headphones with the plastic wrap still on it. That's saran wrap headphones and shit. Those are the headphones that they give you when you come into the hospital and get a freaking rub and tug. Man, what is... <laughs> them headphones is trash. What did you do with them cheap nerd dweeby headphones in your neck? This guy trash. Look at this loner, pathetic looking man right here. His name is Mark Guggenheim. He co-created the CW's Arrowverse with Greg Berlanti. Greg Berlanti is another talentless guy. In February 3rd, in the February 3rd edition of his Legal Dispatch newsletter, Guggenheim explained why he felt gutted to have been completely shut out of the DCU conversation. He says, quote, not a job, mind you, a meeting a conversation, a small recognition of what I tried to contribute to the grand tapestry that is the DC universe. I only spent nine years toiling in that vineyard after all. Although working with DC had been creatively fulfilling, it involved a lot of adversity, challenges and personal sacrificing, none of which seemed to have accrued any professional benefit. Simply put, the Arrowverse hasn't led to any other gigs, so it feels, at least on a career level, that I really wasted my time. You absolutely wasted your goddamn time and you wasted mine as well. You have single-handedly helped contribute to one of the worst things to ever happen to superheroes. Don't talk about the Arrowverse like you're proud, bro. You have nothing to be proud of about creating the Arrowverse. The CW is one of the worst networks on TV. If if it's national TV, when you think about national TV, ABC, NBC, freak, I'll bring it, throw UPN in that hole. CW is at the bottom. I'd rather watch Divorce Court on repeat than watch a Arrowverse CW television show, my guy. You have contributed to so many fans getting misconstrued about what heroes are you have lied in your shows and made up bullshit you made up woke propaganda you made every character in the world gay that you possibly could have when it didn't need to happen i'm cool with some gay characters but why the whole goddamn show gotta be about a character sexuality rather than the goddamn hero your scripts have been trashed your cgi and your tv shows are trashed your freaking acting ability that you cast the, the, the casting that you've done for these shows are trash you have no idea some of the damage that you have done to DC. Bruh, you trash, and I hope you never work again with that $2. My grandma got it for me in Christmas of 88, three button sweatshirt. With them headphones is that little skinny cord dripping down. There's no quality coming into them headphones, man. Them shits. You sit up here, got a picture of yourself with freaking A6 headphones. You got on A6 headphones. Those, they give them sheets free every Thanksgiving at the soup kitchen, bro. You over here, you the way you look represents the exact way that the CW is, bro. Freak this guy. Y'all have no idea how much I hate the CW. For nine years, we've gotten mediocrity and trash and filth and garbage. Batwoman, good job, douchebag. Black Lightning, fuck. The Flash, just 
the Supergirl. When it left, when it left NBC and went to the CW, went straight downhill. Titans with the air. Oh, let me tell you something, man. You and Greg Berlanti need to go on a D and D vacation. Your D, Greg is the other D. Go on vacation, go sail away, and never come back. James Gunn, this is probably the smartest move that you have ever made for DC. Yeah, you're announcing Superman. Yeah, you're going to do Gods and Monsters Chapter 1. Yeah, you're going to bring all this stuff together. Yeah, you're a talented writer and a culpable director. But all those things said, they take a back seat to what you've done here. This is the most ingenious thing you could have ever done for us, bro, was getting rid of of this trash motherfucker right here. This motherfucker with no talent. I'm glad that this man is not working. You think that it's a coincidence that you're not working for the DCU anymore and they're not respecting you or giving you any jobs because your content is trash. Don't nobody want you to work for them so you could go over there to their network and make their shit look CW? Nah, CW is a cancer that must be cut out. It is a curse. It is the freaking uh, Majin, Majin Boo spell take over your, your your brain i'm surprised he don't got a freaking m on his forehead that shit is straight mind control heck no nah, we don't want that shit over there bro good job good job and i understand that there's some of y'all kids out there that like the cw you guys grew up on that shit that's cool i ain't trying to knock you for that i'm really not what i am gonna say here is now that you consume the content try to erase that shit from your memory and come to the DC universe because DC rises. Let's move on and get some real DC content going. I hope that that shit never hits syndication. I hope that the re they put the reruns and put them in a freaking vault and never let them out. Put that shit in the vault where Rogue One is at. I don't ever want to see anything CW or Arrowverse ever again. And I don't want it to be mentioned ever again. Your content is trash. The quality is garbage. It's the CW is the Thor love and trash of DC. I'd rather watch BBS. I'd rather watch Zack Snyder's Justice League than watch that. Well, maybe I went too far. But you know what I'm saying. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm Jody Joe and I'm out. Deuces. <laughs>